Okay, I'm, I'm often asked by students why should they study ecology and biodiversity. I think the first good reason for why you should study ecology and biodiversity is if it interests you. And if you have a passion for some particular group of plants and animals, that's even better. So if it interests you and you have a passion for it, then that's good, but that's not good enough. There are two other reasons why you should be studying ecology and biodiversity. So the second reason is you should do it if you care about nature and its protection. Now people talk a lot about sustainability, but sustainability isn't just keeping things the way they are, because we've already lost quite a lot. Sustainability is about making things better. So if you decide to study ecology and biodiversity, you should not be planning to be an observer on the sidelines, but you should be taking an active part. You should be somebody who will take action to make things better, to protect our shared heritage. And that's not a small thing, because nowadays our country parks and our seas and all the species that live in and around them are under greater threat now than they have been at any recent time in the past. You only have to look at the media to see that that is the case. So what's the third reason then? Third, I think you should study ecology and biodiversity because you want to be the best scientist you can. Arguments for protecting nature can't just be based on passion and enthusiasm because you love it. That's not going to be enough. Both of these things are important, but in Hong Kong today you have to back up your passion and your arguments with sound scientific information. You have to have data to back up assertions that species are declining in numbers and may be in danger of being lost, or that a particular habitat is being degraded and that its destruction will impoverish the environment. Now personally, I believe that biodiversity has value in and of itself, irrespective of its utilitarian value or its service value or whatever. But in Hong Kong, where development is always said to be balanced off against conservation, and keep in mind that so-called balance always means that development wins and conservation loses. And development, by the way, is always destruction. Um, because of this balance in Hong Kong, it's imperative that we employ the very, very best science that we can if we hope to win arguments about conserving nature in the face of development imperatives in Hong Kong. So I think that it's most important for Hong Kong students to study ecology and biodiversity because they are the best people to protect Hong Kong's environment and our natural heritage into the future. Who else is going to do that apart from our students? So in a nutshell, I think you should study ecology and biodiversity because it matters because it's important, because it's interesting, and sometimes because it's fun.